I'm at a gypsy. The team research stuff is, is those two things are particularly interesting. Um, and change for the sport, like, I don't even, it's, it's not even change. As I just, I would love for people to recognize that what does it mean to grow? Yeah. <laughs> like yeah. people dismiss it. Like I'll give Mathis a hard time. He's like, it's never going to grow. Right. Like I think he's like, why would he say that? Yeah. And it's just like, it's like, Steve, this is the message. Stop being so negative. It's like, we can grow. Things can grow. It just requires change. Recognize, well, what does that mean to change? And it's not what you and I think it is. You're like, you and I were riffing and we're talking about like the format of the race. It's like, Dude, that's not going to attract that, no, another No, yeah, fan. that's not going to, no, yeah. <laughs> That'll make yeah. it more interesting for, for us, us yeah. to watch. And yeah. it's like our pontifications of what may be interesting for the sport. But if you really want to grow the sport, you got to recognize, well, what does it mean to grow? And like, just go look at 10 equivalents. Like your F1 example, the F1 example is like the popular one these days. And so everybody looks at drive to, to survive and says, oh, that's the key. Like, sure, that helps. But like, go look at <laughs> corporate America is just packed with businesses. Like, take a look at Apple. What happened to Apple in 2007? They came out with an iPhone. Mm. The iPhone like took over the world in many ways around mobile, mobile computing, right? And, and what your phone is. Like, think about what that was. That was a, a completely about face change of what the hell to think about a phone. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, Think about how drastic it is for a company that was stagnant, right? Like Apple was nothing for many years. It was years. so niche. It was like it had gone off to be the designer's computer. Yeah. And then all of a sudden it came back. And it was largely because of the introduction of the iPhone. And they did something that was completely changed the paradigm and like really thought outside of the box. You can go through corporate America and you're going to find a hundred examples of products that were by the wayside and didn't have any growth. And then all of a sudden they're growing, right? Like Stanley, everybody knows him now for, for the fucking cup. cup. Right, like maybe it's a bad example because that's likely to be a fad, right? But like, yeah, but I oh know I think. But it's a recognize, good yeah, 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 right? Like PBR. What happened to PBR? Why did all of a sudden ten years ago, or I don't know, maybe it's fifteen years ago, PBR became the thing again? Mm. Like it had fallen by the wayside. You got to go look at these other contemporary examples of growth and where those things came from, and recognize what what did that change come from? How did they make that change? And to me, I'm I'm a customer first guy. It's like, go look at the customer. What does the customer want? Mm. Right? I joke with Brett, like, well, we, we're making hats and shirts. And he's like, what do you think of this, this blue? Or what do you think of this gray? And I go, black. Yeah. Because <laughs> that's the right answer. <laughs> go, go walk around a stadium with a, a notepad. And every time you see a, a hat not colored black, make a notch. <laughs> You're going to walk around all day and not see anything but black hats, right? Like, it's just the reality of the consumer today. That's what they're going to accept. And so that's our current customer. So now go figure out what you think the future customer is. There's data that I'm, I have no doubt the Feld has that the manufacturers have. Um, that would tell you, that would give you a seed for what the next consumer is that would be open to it. Mm. Um, but that's a piece I would, I would just, yeah, I think in, like just having some introspection around like, hey, if we were wanted to really grow this, what does it require? Um, and then I think the other piece of that is there's so many entities in this, right? The leadership entities take Feld, MX Sports, AMA, the manufacturers, and there's now 10 of them. The team managers. Yeah, like, you think about all, they all have to get on, get in line. And it is pretty miraculous that, that all of those interests do align. Yeah. I mean, they should, they yeah. haven't, they haven't always. No, no, for sure. But I mean, I mean, even in the times they didn't align, like it still kind of worked. Yeah. Yeah. You they, know, like it's quite yeah. miraculous. Yeah. Yeah. By handshakes. Right. Or at least it seemed like handshakes. I don't, I'm, I'm by yeah, no by means just in that like inner circle. Counting that all these dudes are going to drive their semis in this pit. So, yeah. <laughs> and bring all the, like. Yep. You know, it's like a hundred million dollars worth of shit that just gets bought into a stadium every single weekend. Yeah, it's it's incredible to think like the production that Feld puts on or that MX Sports puts on, and that the manufacturers are going to show up and the privateers are going to show up and and make it happen. So yeah, yeah, no no specific dreams or wishes around the change, but just more like inspect. Like I don't know, I and maybe I'm irrational about it, but I do think it could grow. It's just you got to oh, recognize 100%. what it what it takes to grow. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. We are excited to announce the launch of our new membership site, gypsytales.com, packed with exclusive content and perks that you won't find anywhere else. This is your chance to become a part of the Gypsy Gang. And as a special bonus, if you sign up to an annual membership, you'll be entered into the draw to win our custom-built TC125. Gypsy Gang.